What's up everybody? If you're new to my channel, I'm Artist Boozy, and we like to get fun with art and creativity, so if you like that sort of thing, you should totally stick around. You might find something you like. If not, that's cool too. Today, I'm going to be drawing on newspaper because I don't know why, it just makes things more interesting. Like, look at this! Oh my gosh, this is who we're drawing today. John Wayne Gacy, one of the most prolific serial killers ever. He got away with it for so long and nobody even suspected him. But let's not give away all the facts because I'm doing something different today and doing a voiceover with facts about John Wayne Gacy. And if it does well, we might do some more. Also, this idea came about because it says quit clowning around and I thought that would be great. So it inspired this piece. I was actually just trying to do some simple little abstract pieces like this. Like this. And like this. Gotta love some Tupac. But with that being said, without without further ado, let's get into this video and let's roll the facts, baby. Woo! Voice over busy coming at you, and I'm here to tell you to grab some snacks, sit back, and relax while we talk about some facts about John Wayne Gacy. He raped, tortured, and murdered multiple young boys and men from 1972 to 1978. But before I get carried away with all of the murderous stuff, let's go back to where it all started. It started in Chicago, Illinois. He was born on March 17, 1942. And you would think he was a normal, hardworking man. But no, he worked as a, cur a cook during the day and ran a part-time construction business in the evenings where he would contract young boys, which would soon enough come up missing. It shocked the town as he was known for his performance as a clown at charitable events and children's parties. He got away with it for roughly around six years, but he got caught because in 1978, one of Gacy's victims, Robert Pease, I hope I pronounced that right, was reported missing, and they learned that Gacy was the last one to, see, to have seen him. He worked for him and was the last one to see him. The police then got a search warrant for his property, which already had a foul odor coming from him, and he told his wife and company that would come over that it was just moisture buildup. But all along, it was dead bodies ranking in the basement. Creepy! I can't believe that. Oh man. They then found the bodies of 29 young boys and men on his property, and they found four near Des Plaines River. At his hearing, he pled innocent by reason of insanity, which he was trying to get away with it, which he wouldn't, I guess. Psychologists diagnosed him as a schizophrenic. Oh my goodness. Even though they diagnosed him as a schizophrenic, the jury still found him guilty on all 33 murders. Thank goodness, because if he got out, he would probably continue to do it because he was a nasty, vile man. I'm still just blown away that he just told people that that foul odor was moisture buildup because if you ever talk to anybody in the detective field or police or anything, they say a dead body smell is like no other. So the fact that his wife and everyone believed him about the moisture buildup is crazy because 29 bodies ranking down there blows my mind. Just, I'm still just on that, stuck on it. I can't help it. He was then executed by lethal injection on May 10th, 1994, so he is no longer with us. He's a goner. I hope you guys like this kind of video where I do a voiceover about serial killers because... I just love serial killers, and my favorite show is Forensic Files. Call me an old lady if you like. I don't care. I enjoy watching it. <laughs> and also, sorry for my voice. I'm fighting a cold and have been because the weather can't decide if it wants to be warm or hot. Or warm or cold. Goodness gracious. I got sleepy brain. I'm also using Prismacolor pencils on this drawing and just regular graphite pencils for happiness. And you already know what time it is. Signature time, baby! Okay, and with that being said, this is the final results. I think it turned out pretty cool. I really like it. I love how I did the 
half pencils and half colored pencils. I love a little bit of different styles together. I think it looks really cool. If you guys like it, you should like and subscribe and come back for some more artsy fartsy fun. Thank you so much for watching.